Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to the limited time demo for Spirit Fair from Thunder Lotus, the creators of Jotun and Sundered. Uh, quick note. This is going to be available for something like 48 hours on Steam, so if you want to try it yourself, stop watching this video, go get it now, come back later. Or don't. <laughs> but anyway, let's jump on in, see what, uh, what this game has in store. Please note this demo is from an in-production build and does not reflect the quality of the final product, which we're still working hard on. Apologies for any bugs you may come across. Please let us know in the Steam forums if you do find some so we can squash them. Have fun. And I will. So yeah, this is described as a cozy management game about death. Okay, what do we got here? There is a s Are you a snake? You look like a snake in a robe. Ah, Stella, my dear! Well, actually, I think this is- oh. Oh, press X. I've been meaning to talk to you! The sea, the friends, the adventures! Well, that's grand, really, and I appreciate you letting me be a part of it. However, I'm starting to feel a little dizzy. Untethered, if you'd like. I think it's time. I finally take that long trip we've been talking about. But I'm not quite ready to move on from this world yet. I need you to help me with these last steps on my final journey. The first thing I need would be a place to focus my energies. Let's head down to the shipyard and see what we can do about that. Oakley Oakley. How did you climb, Mr. Snake Man? Anyway, before we actually like go on and do anything else, I would just kinda wanna like, explore a little and just appreciate the beauty of uh yeah. I mean, Thunder Lotus, uh, it's like all hand-drawn animation, isn't it? And it's quite, quite a distinctive style. It's very, very nice. And we, we can cook things. I love food. But we have nothing available for cooking right now. So that'll have to wait. Hello there, Mr. Frogman. We can talk to you, we can give you stuff, we've got food, hug, mood. Let's talk. Oh, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin, all the characters have the same voice because the, the, the YouTuber doesn't have a very large vocal range. It just feels so right. What's your mood? It's... yeah. Yeah, that's kind of my mood most days, too. Well, maybe not most days, but some days. Select an item to see more information, but we have no items available right now, so... We'll have to come back and check that out. So, are we... Are we the ferryman, perhaps, ferrying the souls of the dead on to... The afterlife, perhaps. What do you have to say, my dear? My dear, uh, dear person? See what I did there? Did you hear that? I think we might have just hit a rock or something. Or maybe it's just the guilt of my past knocking. Stella, you do seem to be running around a lot. Take a page from my book. Relax a minute. Okay. What's your mood, by the by? Also, kind of meh. So, our goal is to make people happy so they can move on. Alright, I can dig it. Have you given some thought about building my house, Stella? I've always liked the word tranquility. Tranquility. The way it rolls off the tongue. Say it with me, Stella. Tranquility. 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 What's your mood? Not so great. We'll give you a hug. Will that make you feel better? Oh, you're sweet. Also, we have a cat. Oh, that's made him happier. 
I don't have any food or anything to give you, I don't think. But we'll, we'll check that out. But first, we shall sail away with our magical spirit paddle. Nicely done. You see, we're gifted. Gifted with cool things like spirit paddles. Active for quests. Oop, wrong button. Home is where the heart is. Summer's been feeling out of sorts. I should head down to the shipyard to build her a nice new home. Alright, I think we can do that. Ah, over here. You know what I would like? A nice meditation room with plants and natural materials. That would be splendid. I have toyed with the concept before. I've even come up with a plan for a little house that would do nicely. Would you do it, or would you be a deer and build it for me? But not that kind of deer. I'd be so grateful. I'll finally have a place where I could show you how to meditate. Just talk to our friend over here to build my house. Oakley Doakley? Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. <coughs> and also doing this voice is murder on the narrator's throat. So, what do you need? Did you know that I'm the best at sleeping? So good, in fact, I can do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Okay, so we can build a house. We can move houses that are already here. Okay, I can see where this is going to get uh, a little complicated, perhaps. So, a garden. But that's not what our friend wants. Our friend wants Summer's room. Oh, oh, good. So we can actually kind of build it on top of existing buildings. But is that really the way we want to do it? I mean, I kind of want it to be nice and pressed up like this, but would there be a benefit to having this gap? I think the answer is no. Ah, home is where the heart is. What else can we build? Someone mentioned something about wanting a garden, didn't they? So, you know what, let's, uh, where can I, where can I fit this garden? Maybe I should have built the garden first. That might have been a, a smart idea, actually. Um, but then again, we, we can move things around, so let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put you there for a second, because apparently we have the power to do that. And... Hmm. It's like a big, complicated game of, uh, Jenga, is how I'm gonna describe this. Actually. Oh, I can lower it. But not that much. Okay. Alright. We're, we're slowly gonna get there. But I could also, like, move you over here. We can move everything. Well, let's leave this like this for now, and we'll we'll figure out how to like super optimize everything by the by. Thank you, honeybee. Also, before we move on, let, let's explore a little. I mean, this is a demo. I'm not terribly concerned with um, with uh, I guess completing it so much as just just exploring things, taking a bit of a, a look around. Oh, that's badass! Look at that. We have a super floating hat too. We're just like the best. An obol, the mark of passage paid in full. And we've got our seeds, and we've still got a few oak logs left over. Oh, killy doakly. Anyway, what do you have to say, my good sir? I can't wait to see how it looks on board the ship. Let's head back. Okay, can I climb into the water? I can swim. All right, that is, that's pretty cool. I like it. Also, I've got to be honest, you're a good shark. Look at this. I mean, look at that guy. He's a cool guy. 
You can tell because he's got that sort of admiral's uh, thing going for him. Or just ship captain. Very sophisticated. Classy. Also, what is this over here? Oh, we can go fishing. And just sit back, relax, and... Oh. Oh, come on. Let's get it. Is it a spirit fish? Okay. Oh, oh. I'm in mean, it. Okay. I think I got it. I hold X. I don't tap, or I don't... Yeah, I don't button mash. I tap it. If it turns red, I let go. If it's yellow, it's all good. Okay. Okay, and then we give it some slack and reel it in. Nicely done. We've caught ourselves a herring. Perfect for pickled herring, which I've never had and probably would not want, to be honest with you. Oh, how wonderful. What a beauty. The plants. Yes, this is a beautiful house. We'll do just fine. Thank you so much, Stella. I only have one final wish before I go into the unknown. Can we make a little detour to Hummingburg? Maybe see the sights? It's famous for its incredible shrine in the town square. More importantly, I forgot a precious family heirloom there. It was somewhere by this old house I was staying in a few years ago. I do remember sitting atop that house meditating for hours. Let's go and retrieve it. Go to your cabin at the back of the boat and activate your map projector. Just set a course for Hummingbird. All right, friendo, we can do that. How, how are you doing? You're happy. You were hugged. Built her what looks like a nice vivarium. Request recently fulfilled. Okay. Let's uh, step inside. Ooh. This is a nice place. Yeah, look at this. Look at this nice house. What kind of requests do our other friends have, by the by? Hello, friend. You know what? Here, have a hug. I love you. Aww, that is adorable. A little hug always brightens my day. Oh yeah, baby. What do you have, anyway? Okay, you don't have any, uh... Any requests just yet. Okay, you know what? You can have a hug, too. Here, have a hug. Oh, oh she looked a little surprised by that. Oh, but she, she liked it. Gotta be careful just randomly walking up and hugging people. Usually a good idea to ask first. Thank you, I needed that. But it seems like on this particular awesome houseboat to the afterlife that, uh, you know, it's really... Everyone can use a hug now and then. It's really appreciated. It also occurs to me I could have cooked that herring. Ah, hummingbird. In the hummingbird region, a beautiful mysterious shrine is located in the town square. And away we go! Request advanced, a necklace of- Oh, You got a request for me, my good man? Oh, wonderful! I see you've already tried your hand at fishing! I'm so proud of you! Now, you can fish to your heart's content! Oh. There's a part of me that feels, uh... A little unsure how to feel about that, actually. You know, oh, just because uh, I think he was going to try to maybe have a conversation with us, but we were ahead of him. Hmm. If you feel like it, step inside this field and plant this seed. It might just grow into something interesting. Or not. Who knows? Ah, the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. When planted in the field, these seeds will grow into savory corn. Voila. Oh, I didn't check out the garden yet. You planted your first seed. You're on your way to becoming a regular green thumb. Here's a few more to make this field plentiful again. Now, don't forget to add some water. But not seawater. Alright. So where do I get the water exactly? Because I don't have a watering bucket. Of course, our magical spirit watering can. Man, how handy would it be if I actually... It's actually more than a spirit watering can. It's that little golden thing that I first mistook for a belt buckle. 
Ooh, and time's actually passing. And it's night once again. I'm liking this so far. Alright, I and we can plant some carrots. And some turnips. And another carrot. Because why not? Then we'll just keep watering things with our spirit watering can of holding. Nicely done. And... Oh, don't overwater it now. Oh, and of course, it's raining. I wonder whose house this is. The windows are open. We should be able to just crawl in. But, uh, that would be rude because that could be someone else's house. Certainly not our house. Alright, so we've got our blueprints. We can do some more fishing if we really want it. And... I guess we can... We cannot sleep. But we can see that we are on our way. And there is a storm event happening. But what does that mean, precisely for us, I wonder? Probably means good time to do some fishing. Or not. Also, someone needs something. But let me just get this fish. I'll be right with you. And... Oops. Let's go see what our friend needs. Maybe they're sad about the rain. Stella, quick, come here! This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. Uh, okay. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. Get ready for the frill of your life. Are you, are you trying to kill me, my friend? Okay, you're summoning the lightning. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay, I can see- I, I can see it now. I- I'm- I- I'm too slow. Oh! Some glims. Booyah, baby! Nicely done! Oh yeah! Ride the lightning, baby! Ride the lightning! Missed it. Okay, now what is a glim? And why do I want it? Oop. Okay, I just wanted to test to see if I could get it from there. Alright. Alright. That frog's a dang magician. Alright, we've got a whole bunch of glims. Okay. Oh, oh, you're coming to me. What a rush! Oh, we're something else. The sounds, the lights. Great job, Sprout. Nicely done. Did you know you can catch different fish when it rains? Maybe they like to come up to drink the fresh water that's dripping down. Pretty neat, right? All right, Mr. Toad. Let's do it. Man, how cool would that be in real life to be able to literally catch lightning? But alas, that power was not made for mortal men. Ah! Didn't let go in time. I want the fish, dang it. Easy. Oh, here we go. Okay. Easy does it. All right. Going to take a little bit of work here. Ooh, it's going to be a shark or something. Of course, then again, we live in a world where there are talking sharks, so maybe... Maybe that wouldn't be the best idea, eating a shark. Almost got it. Possibly. Alrighty then, we're getting them. Oh. 
Almost there. Almost. Almost. A rainbow fish or a black tiger shrimp. Let's go one more time. Because I think we're just killing time now until we get to where we're going. Maybe we'll do some cooking. Alright. What else do we have? I'm assuming there's multiple fish. Though, maybe in this demo there might be just the two. But we shall find out. Dang. If this is never a shrimp, these things really put up a fight. Like... I mean, I'm no professional fisherman, but... I I don't think normal shrimp... Ah, and... Dang. You know what? Let's move on. Let's, let's try cooking the shrimp that we have caught. Alright. We can... Let's see. The black tiger shrimp is the queen of all shrimps. Medium in size, this fabulous crayfish is a tasty fighter. Alright. Then we shall cook you. Nicely done. Oh, and there's a little timer there. Oh, I hear someone yawning. Oh, that's going to take a while. Uh, let's see. So far, so good. Oh god, no! Okay, the boat automatically stops if we're- if we get off the boat, okay. How do I get back on? As I seem to be having a little- little bit of trouble with that. Oh! What is this? Oh! Clams! Okay, so there's actually stuff growing on the side of the boat. Um... I seem to be stuck. Uh-oh. Okay, we can zoom out. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, jump, hold to glide, move down, move up, zoom out, inventory. Uh-oh. Um. How do we get back on the boat? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, we have learned something. Okay, that's actually almost there. You got, you see, you gotta, you gotta experiment with these things. How are we making it, anyway? Looks like we're almost there. Alright. So far, so good. Okay, and you're sleeping. Cool, cool. Alright, let's uh, not let our... Our spirit oven mitts. Booyah! Oh, looks like we're arriving. Scallop. Common mussel. We'll cook the herring. Oh yeah! Oh, we've arrived at Hummingbird. Nicely done. And you know what? I think we're going to wrap things up here and we will actually no, you know what? Let's uh let's do this in one one fell swoop. Now that I think about it, you've probably gotten the hang of fishing by now. Well, that means you can grill those bad boys up and start feeding me. There should even be a kitchen on this boat somewhere. I'm just saying, I might be getting hungry in the coming minutes. Oh, you. You're already a grill master. Smells delicious. You can always try and feed me your cooking experiment. I can be your guinea pig. Anything for the science of food. All right, one second, though, because I am burning my herring. Huzzah! All right. You know what? I will give you a grilled fish. Straight from the ocean and straight to the oven. Oh, mama! This tastes great! I knew you would pull through. Thanks, Sprout! Oh, you're getting real happy. Loves the way the rain feels on his skin. Request recently fulfilled. A real connoisseur. Can I also give you my shrimp cocktail? Ooh, that's okay, Stella. 
All right. Perfect. We've made it. Just hop in that raft down there. You'll be able to go to shore in a heartbeat. All right, my slinky, snaky friend. Let's roll. To Hummingburg. I'm liking this so far. It's a very nice, tranquil game to play. Hello there, friendo. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. It's seeds, logs, and rocks. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Well, I'm sure it's not completely useless. Also, I'm glad people don't seem to mind me... Uh, okay. I'm glad they don't mind me just breaking into their house and stealing their stuff. Uh, but you know, I guess, uh, that's what's gonna happen. Hello, friend. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. Don't worry, I'm sure you are, friend. And what do we got here? New ability, the double jump. When in the air, press A again to double jump. The power of jumping high is quite amusing. Edward Lodwick. Oh, but I need more uh, stony things. Okay, so we don't have the ability yet. Aha! This was my old house. The afternoon light on the roof was divine. The hours would breeze by when I meditated up there. I'm sure that's where I left my heirloom. However, I have no idea how to reach it. If only I could jump that high, and that's where the double jump comes in. You could look around for help. Maybe you could throw this coin in that shrine for luck. Okay, now we've got two of them, which means double jump acquired. Booyah. All right, also, our cat got the double jump as well. Nice. All right, there we go. The unlimited power. All right, Summer's Lost Necklace. And that's the one. Now, if you could give it to me, that would be amazing. I can already feel the necklace's amazing power. Well, certainly, my friend. Looks priceless and old. Exactly what I was looking for. It's nothing special to the untrained eye. But for the truly initiated, it's priceless beyond belief. Thank you so much for bringing back my lo or for bringing my lost necklace back to me. Let's head back to the boat. I am ready to leave this beautiful village. So many fond memories. What do you have to say, friend? My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work. Oh my. I shouldn't have told you if I want to keep it that way. That's okay, friend. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen. I just don't want junk mail. I know that feeling. Fun story. I've been on my personal private email out of nowhere. Been getting all of a sudden... Like, bajillions and bajillions of metric cyber tons of junk mail out of nowhere. It's crazy. Hello there, squirrel friend. Step right up, step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the gold. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glimpse. Step right up. Okay, I mean, there's nothing I really feel I need right now, but we might come back to that by and by. And that door is locked, but we can double jump and climb up here. You know, I don't really want to steal from people's homes, if I'm going to be honest with you. Kind of seems like a, uh, a jerky thing to do. Okay, I did end up stealing something, though. What a lovely town. 
Ooh, and what's this? Ooh. There's something down here. But what? Aha! Some more glims. All right. Well, let's go home and check out Summer's, uh, or help Summer move on to the other side. And away we go. Man, that's awesome. If only I had a magical hat that could let me glide and fly around in real life. Oh. We are not friends. Fair enough. I wouldn't want random strangers barging into my house either. Especially random strangers who have a penchant for just randomly stealing my stuff. Because that wouldn't be very nice. Alright. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, metric metric tons of, uh, of spam mail. Don't know where it, what that's all about or where it's coming from, but it, um, oh, okay, for this I have to mash, uh, I have to mash, uh, the X button. Okay. Let's get her done. I we still have only turnips and carrots for now. Would you, uh, would you like a uh, turnip or carrot? Um, I have no interest whatsoever in whatever that is. I guess you would like the corn instead, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, that is what you gave me. You gave me the corn. Oh, nice. Get that sickle action in there. All right. There we go. I'll be back to see you later, friend. But first... Uh, honeybee, I have something to tell you. Give me a few seconds to work up the courage. I think I'm finally ready to leave this realm. Oddly enough, my necklace is telling us where to go next. I think it'll lead us to that passage to the great unknown. You'll have to trust me on this one, Stella. Just get us there quickly. All right, friendo. I can do that. You know, I mean, it's been it's been nice having you on this boat. But uh I sure will miss you. The great unknown. Ding ding ding. You know what? I bet there's also different fish in different areas. All right. Anyone else have any anything they would like me to do while I'm here? Oh, I didn't realize I'd picked up some flax. But hey, we'll grow some flax. And of course, make sure we water everything. We could probably make some kind of uh, carrot stew, maybe? Maybe, possibly, could happen. I mean, we have, we have time to kill. Actually, in our recipes. Ooh, there's something there. Okay, so right now I can only put one thing at a time. Let's cook some corn first. Get some popcorn, because everyone loves popcorn. Wait, is it already done? That was quick. Nicely done. New recipe learned. Popcorn. And you know what? While we're waiting, let's also cook some clams. That'll probably take a moment. Alright, let's see if our friend likes some popcorn. Yo, friend. Have some popcorn. Mm -hmm. Wonderful! I was looking for something in that taste palette. Aw, oh, come on here, you. There we go. Mm -hmm. Never hug. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I needed that. My pleasure, friend. Oh, and... Let's go get our mussels before they burn. Oh, wait. Was it mussel? Yeah. Mussels or shellfish or something of that general nature. Scallops. Scallops are pretty tasty. But not for everyone. 
Let's try to catch a fish while we're waiting. Do, 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 do. Just enjoying life. You know what? Life would be really nice living on a little houseboat out in the sea. With some friendly talking anthropomorphic animals. And okay, never herring. Or maybe there's different uh, fish depending on... Well, we're moving into fog, so... I feel maybe there might be something new and exciting in that. Oh, a friend's got something to say. Oh, here we are, the great unknown. Stella! Uh -huh. We are here! And also, it occurs to me my voice has been ever so slightly changing and being inconsistent this entire time. I'm sorry about that. Just light the way. All right, here we go. I guess this is the end. And yet, it's also just the beginning. Wow. Ah, get, get out of there, Steam an announcement. Spiritfarer, thank you for playing. So was that like a giant spirit owl? Because that was pretty cool. You know what? Yeah, I think I might sign up for the newsletter. But anyway, let's, uh, let's wrap this stuff up here. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah. We'll have to play more when it comes out, but until then, see you all in the next video.